and of the house, he, he or the wife cannot mop. So this is like now mopping. You see me at the house, but you see. Wait, where do you put the cow dung? Yes. Where? In the house. On the floor? The floor. Yes. Why? Because, because we don't have cement. And, then... and because the floor have a lot of dust, so every week we need to get the cow dung mixed with water, then we smear it. How you know? Well, it, it is something that it is now in our mind. Right. That okay, maybe any time my house can right. collapse, so we go and right. fix it. Right. dark and we're standing in front of mirrors all day long. Everything is critiqued. Um, ballet is such a strict art form and we're striving for that unattainable perfection. And this plant is really poisonous. Why are you touching it up the end there? Just remember, don't put your hands near your mouth. You put it in the river or in the sea for a few days and let it leach the poison out. It's a survival plant. It can give you damper, but if you haven't gone through that knowledge of what it is, that full cycle of it, mm. it'll kill you as well. My name is Jennifer Newman, I'm a Wiradjuri woman. I come from Wiradjuri country, which you might describe as a country of three rivers, Wambul, Kala and Murrumbidgeri. I think it's important because everybody in the world should know about the First Nations people. Mm. I think you've got a greater chance of looking around and saying, right, whose country am I on here? Cross-cultural connections, partnerships are, are important for both. Like how do you stay relationally connected? How do you provide those resources? How do they accept those resources in a way that honors them and doesn't hurt? So I think it, it expands my ability to relate to other people, expands my ability to problem solve, expands my uh, perspective of the world, expands ultimately my perspective of God and who He is. So I have a, a more holistic perspective of God because I'm looking at other people who were created in His image. have access to a vast array of resources and we use those resources to make our lives as comfortable and interesting as we possibly can. And when they're so full of stuff that we can't fit anything else in our houses, we realise that stuff doesn't make us happy and so we start looking for experiences.
allowed God to do in you. And because you allowed us to push you, it's in those times of discomfort that you grow. Push yourself into those places where you can encounter God through people that are not like you. What seems like the boring parts of your community, you had the boring times here at the bus stop, those were sacred. You go back home, the boring times that you're sitting in the supermarket or doing those kind of things, the boring stuff of life, that is sacred as well. Push yourself to not just think differently, but find those practices and ways to engage with your world differently. What you do affects what you believe. It shapes your vision of the kingdom.